Two gay men claimed they were discriminated against because they were kicked out of an Eastern Kentucky pool. An employee claimed they were showing affection, a claim those men deny. So today, dozens of people showed up at the pool to protest this incident. As Marcus Conroy tells us, this came as the city of Hazard took action against the employee accused of kicking the men out. God loves everyone. I'm Dozens from across the I Commonwealth came to support the two gay men that were allegedly thrown out of the Hazard Pavilion. I report from Mending Hearts, there was no kissing and there was nothing of that sort. Uh, one of them sat on the other's knee and that was it. Jordan Palmer with the Kentucky Equality Federation says the pavilion worker, Kim Haynes, used the Bible to justify kicking the men out. Religion has no place in any government, much less a publicly owned facility, and he did not have the right to do that to those people. I don't even think this is a gay rights issue, because heterosexual would have been treated in the same manner. Christy Dixon was one of several who support Haynes' actions last week. She says she exercises at the pavilion regularly and knows Haynes, who she calls a meek, good man. So if what these guys were doing was extreme enough for Kim to say something to them, then it must have really been inappropriate. That's all we want out of you. I'll just do what every rule says in here. The Hazard City Attorney says it was inappropriate for Haynes to argue with the patron and to use religious beliefs as grounds to kick out the couple. The city did release a statement saying that the employee is suspended without pay for five days, but Palmer says that's not enough. If does not issue an, an official apology and reassign him to the area of government, then we will sue the city of Hazard. It's a family facility. People bring their babies here. They don't want to watch men and women having sex in public. They don't want to watch men and men. They don't want to watch women and women. The city says the pavilion is open to anyone who wants to join, and new signs will be posted reinforcing that commitment. In Hazard, Marcus Conrad, WKYT 27 News First. And you can find more about the investigation into this incident on our web channel. That's WKYT.com. Well, a man now faces some